the first time this will appear in an Olympic Games. So a big, big moment for these athletes as they try to qualify places. One notable absence from these championships, the six-time world champion Lawrence Vincent the Point of Canada, originally suspended after failing an out-of-competition drugs test. She'll face a, a hearing in the next couple of months. In lane two, we have Maria Maillard of Chile alongside Ukraine's Anastasia Chetverikova of Ukraine in lane one. In lane three, Alessia Romasenko of Russia, the reigning European champion. In lane four, Dorota Borowska of Poland, the under 23 world champion, bronze at the European Games a couple of weeks, couple of months ago. Zhang Lu Qi of China, she lines up in lane five. Canada's Katie Vincent in lane six, three time under 23 world champion. And a really exciting moment for this athlete, Nevin Harrison, just 17 years old from the USA in the A final in lane seven. Alina Nazdrova from Belarus, we saw her win gold in the 500 meters yesterday. She's in lane eight and in lane nine, Stanilia Stamenova of Bulgaria, three time European champion. Yeah, it's great to see her back in the A final uh, and back up. <laughs> like, yeah, she was 2015 world champion. I remember watching that race and I actually raced her this year uh, in the C final in Duisburg. So it looks like her training program has come through and she's uh, peaking at the right time. And this is such an exciting moment for women's canoe racing, the, the first ever Olympic qualifier. Yes, this is happening. This is where uh, everyone has lifted their game. Well, we are underway in the women's C1 200 meter final. What a big start from Nevin Harrison of the United States, just 17 years old. And Bernie, you've seen her race recently at the Olympic Hope Regattas, golds in the C1 200 and 500 in 2017 and 2018. And she is up there now. She is up there with the lead. Has she got the experience though and the endurance to hold on in this world championship final? Alessia Romasenko of Russia powering through now. Zhang Lu Qi of China in lane five. She's there as well, but Harrison still there. She's holding on for first place at the moment. There's 50 meters to go. What a performance by Harrison. She's stretching out her lead. This woman is one to look out for, and she is the world champion gold medal for Nevin Harrison of the United States of America. Just days ago, there'd be most athletes on this course who would not have heard of Nevin Harrison, but now everybody is going to be talking about her ahead of next year's Olympic Games. That was crazy. I'm so happy for it. I actually feel emotional right now. I'm trying to fight back tears. That was the race I saw a couple of years ago at Olympic hopes. Like now she will most likely be going to the Olympics as the current world champion. Oh my gosh. And straight out of the blocks to yep. be so young and so powerful, yes. but also have the state of mind to be able to execute that race plan against such incredible athletes, such, you know, <laughs> decorated athletes. Yeah. This is really, really exciting for the USA. She knew what she wanted to do, and it was very clear. If you jump onto any of her social media sites, this is what she wants, and she's going for it. No one's going to stop her. If you saw her start, she actually p was pushing hard into that start gate. Wow. So that's a gold for Harrison. Silver for Romasenko, by the looks of things. And a bronze medal for Nazdrova of Belarus, as it looked on that little photo finish there. Nazdrova with her second medal of the championships after winning gold in the C1 500. <laughs> but Nevin Harrison cannot believe it. She has certainly earned it. There was no luck involved in that. That was one hell of a puddle yeah. from Harrison. Wow. And like, impressive uh, from our Russian paddler as well. She's been uh, doing this race for a while and uh, picking up uh, kind of the minor medals, but she was right out there in the start again. Again, another athlete that knows what she wants to do. And 
I'm happy to see her perform well today. Yeah, good paddle by Ramosenko of Russia. Silver last year, silver here in Zeged as well. Yeah. Uh, but I still, I still can't get over that performance by Harrison. Yeah. I'll, I'm sure she'll have a few words to say. Do you have words to describe what does it feel like to become world champion at the age of 17? Come on. I have no words right now. I don't. It's, it's unreal. Wow. This is so much more than I ever thought. Where have you been hiding so far? Only junior competitions. It's really, it's crazy to be at a, all these people I, I inspire to be like them. So. Wow, what a moment. <laughs> Is there anybody, anybody here supporting you from your family or friends? My mom and my dad. <laughs> Must be very proud of you. Congratulations, Devin. 17 years old, world champion, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, she's managed to beat the likes of the three-time under-23 world champion, Katie Vincent, out of the medals. The reigning under 23 world champion, Dorota Borowska, out of the medals as well. Yeah, Katie normally has quite a strong finish, and she did again today, just couldn't catch up, you know? Like, Nevin got out there from the very first stroke. Oh, I'm feeling it so much. This is crazy. I'm so happy for it. Okay, these American girls just beat us into the semi, so I'm going to say. Um, in the C2 500, I'm super happy for them, and uh, wow, 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 wow. So more to see from Nevin yes, Harris yeah, in the C2 she's got as the well. Yeah, the C2 as, as well. She's just mastering her craft, can paddle. Well, we're just seeing that Alessia Romasenko has been awarded the silver with Elena Nazdrova of Belarus in the bronze medal position, 49.30. So slow times today because of that headwind, which is